I'm Zane Redfern, home decorating enthusiast and creator of At Home with Zane. I recently posted a video where I showed you how you could make a chicken wire frame uh, DIY and after posting that video I've had an overwhelming response to people asking how I made the bow for my wreath. So today I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how I created my bow. For the sake of the video, I'm using another frame that I have. This is actually a barn wood frame. It's really large. Um, and I'm probably going to create another uh, chicken wire frame out of this because I also have this faux boxwood wreath that I purchased at Marshall's a while back. And so I'm going to use that to demonstrate how I created my bow. Um, I haven't included any chicken wire on this frame, but I'm going to go through the steps of how I created the bow and this frame is very similar. So all you're going to need is of course to do that tutorial. Um, I'm gonna put that video in my description so you can check that out. But also to do the bow, you just need your frame, a wreath of your choice, and then some wired ribbon. And I'm using this blue and white ribbon. I got this actually at Walmart. And some people ask where I got the chicken wire. I actually purchased that at Walmart as well. It's called poultry netting. And um, it was in like the lawn and garden section. So you can just go there to pick that up also. Um, so I'm just gonna use this ribbon and it's a blue and white striped canvas ribbon. And um, you definitely want to make sure that your ribbon is wired to get this look and uh, you can purchase this actually at Walmart as well. To get started what you want to do is find where on your wreath is about the center part. So I've positioned this here on the table since there is no netting behind it um, to hold it up. I've positioned the wreath on the table about center way down uh, on my picture frame. Next, you want to take your ribbon and cut off a very generous uh, length of ribbon because we're going to run the ribbon through our picture frame and then through our wreath and we're going to create the first part of our bow. I've cut down a pretty generous length of ribbon and I'm simply going to take it through the back side of my frame. Right here you would have your wire here and you would just want to slide it between the wire and your frame just like I'm doing here. And then you want to pull your ribbon through the frame and then pull it once through your wreath. So after you have pulled your ribbon through the frame and through your wreath, what you wanna do is make sure that your ends match up. So you wanna to continue to pull the ribbon through your wreath this way until they both line up at the end. And then you're going to have a section like this. What you wanna do next is determine how long you need your ribbon to be to position your wreath in the center. So what you do is you hold up your frame and this looks like it's about right. I'm gonna pull it up just a tad here. So now that I've got my wreath positioned in the center section of my frame, I know how much of this ribbon I'm actually going to have left over. Now that we have our ribbon run through our wreath and through our frame, you should take the excess length of your ribbon that is ran through the wreath and it should just be a straight line, just like this. You don't want to bring that up to the top because that's where we're actually going to create our first bow. And the top would be where your actual loop is that's going to hang on your frame. I've turned the frame around so I can show you how to create your bow. You have your loop now at the top of your frame and we're going to create our first bow at the base of our wreath. So all you wanna do is take your ribbon and create a very simple bow. Just tie a basic knotted bow. I 
always suggest after you've tied once, you want to tie a second time to create a knot. Your wreath should now look like this. You should have a knot at the top and your loop across the frame. Now we're going to create the actual bow. For this, you want to create a bow just like you were tying your shoelaces. Once you've tied your first bow, which this is upside down, but this is how it should look. You just wanna take it and fluff it out. You wanna fluff out the bow since it is wired. It's gonna give you the ability to fluff it out, make it full, and also pull it to make it whatever size you would like. Then what you wanna do is leave your tails just as they are, leave them hanging, because now we're going to cut out another length of ribbon to do our crisscross section of our bow. So I'm going to cut out some ribbon to do the crisscross section of our bow and everything is all just eyeballed. It's really based on your preference, how big you want the bow to be, how long you want the tails to be. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of a judgment and see how long I want it to be. Now that I have my second piece of ribbon out, all you're going to do is run that ribbon behind the bow that you already made going at an angle. So you want it to come out at a diagonal angle behind the bow that you already made. Once you have that pulled through, you just wanna make sure that your ends line up and you wanna create another shoelace bow. Once you have your additional crisscross bow in place, then you can just fluff up your bow, make sure that everything looks nice and full, and then you want to judge how long you want your tails that are still remaining. So I've snipped off my tails, I've created a dovetail um, at the ends, and now it's completed, and this is how you create your big full bow for your farmhouse wreath.